So this is a 2001 TJ that is uh, getting this coming swap right here. Um, currently has, looks like 157 on it. Not a bad run engine. Uh, customer's gonna keep it. Overall, not a bad looking Jeep. So right now I'm uh, getting a good battery cable, not permanent. This is just for testing purposes because me or the customer knows that this thing fully runs um, just by what we're told. So I'm getting the grounds on. I got some other parts here. Um, we're going to see if we can get it started up today. I got some diesel fuel and uh, we'll see where we get to. All right, so I figured I'd get started on this Jeep. Um, let's hear for the coming swap over there. And uh, I'll bring you guys along, and uh, as I get stuff torn off, I will bring back and update you. Uh, it's kind of hard doing it with one hand right now until I can get a little bit better at this. But here we go. All right, just about to end it out for the night. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Um, try getting the bumper off, but there's a bolt that's hidden up underneath there, and it is rusted solid. So I sprayed it. Nothing else I could do really. I got airbox off. Disconnect the battery. Is working on some wiring here. Pretty well going okay. Um, as most of you know, well maybe not. I broke my hand a couple months ago, so it's been kind of uh, hard to do anything. But we'll get it taken care of here. Here's the engine that he wants to put in it. I'm going to tear it apart and uh, just freshen it up. It runs really well. Um, I fired it up on the ground. So that's good. That is a um, uh, SAE 2 bell housing. And for the adapter plate from, oh, I can't think of who it's from right now, but the adapter plate from them was right around 800 bu 1800 bucks. So there's the SAE 2, which is what I need for it of course they're two different things um but the jeep's in pretty good condition i mean it just fits in my garage barely i don't have the biggest one but tomorrow i'm gonna jump back on this and uh see if we can get the engine out tomorrow Woohoo! got the bolt out now i got the get this bolt out right here which i just had in there to to keep hold on so it don't fall and then uh yeah then i did this front bumper off and that gave me so much room because this thing i don't know how well you guys can see it but it probably sticks out a good four three four feet and it is not going to get this engine hoist over top of that so I'm gonna get this off and I'll bring it back. All right, got the bumper off. Man, it's a lot of work for one guy. That's why I'm so out of breath. That's a lot of work for one guy with one hand. And I'm working with my left hand. My left hand is not my dominant hand. So it wears me out a little quicker than, or it's just, I love to eat one and two. But now I'm gonna drain this radiator out, get it up out of here. Try to find the tools for the fan. Start getting stuff unhooked here now since I can actually get in here and work. So we'll get a hold of that. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I gotta start rocking and rolling on this. Try to get it done. See if I can get it out by myself. I don't know if I'll be able to do it this weekend since it's 4th of July. But we'll see. All right. So starting off from last, I'm trying to get this broke loose, but he's not coming loose, so I might have to dig out the porches and heat that up a little bit. I've got to get the AC drained out. I'm gonna do the alternator, um, sensors here and there, and then it looks like it all goes in that main harness up there. 
Uh, I'm gonna remove the power steering pump, get it out of the way. The AC pump's up underneath it. I uh, got a few vacuum lines here and there. And then uh, luckily this is a manual, so I'll be able to just get up underneath there and hook the transmission and hopefully get it out. All sounds easy when you're thinking about it, but when you're doing it, it's not that easy. So uh, as I go along, I will bring you back. All right, was able to get the front clip off, which wasn't too bad. Came off this one piece, so that's good. Now I'm gonna get rest this harness off here. PCM unhooked. Man, I'm out of breath on that one. Um, the connectors up there, stuff down at the starter, just random little things. That makes it good. I don't pull that fan off because um, I wasn't getting that off. Um, the where my torches are, they're behind the Jeep, and I didn't think of that before I started this, so I'm not getting them out. Um, I got, like I said, I got a couple things on the hook over here. A couple things over here. I'm gonna put the power steering pump out of the way. Oh, what else? Um, gotta get bell housing. People said the top ones, you almost have to take, um, bring the engine hoist in, lift the engine up, and pull that whole mount out. Drop the whole engine down so you can get to the top ones. So, that looks like what I'm gonna have to do. Um, and then that's pretty much it i'm hoping to try to have this out today i know i've said that a couple times but things have just been either one day it's crappy and i don't feel good with my hand hurts so i don't really get out here um unfortunately i had to cut the ac line which these are only 15 bucks so the the bolts were seized on this so I, I couldn't get it off. This one down here, this was up underneath and I couldn't get anything to it. So, kind of stupid the way that's set up. But, all right, I'm going to continue on getting this out, the, what I've been doing, and then lift it up because I've been working on the ambulance too. So, I will get this the rest of the way out. Well, get to a couple parts and I'll bring you back on it. All right, I've come down to this point. Got all the wiring harness off, power steering pump off, um, all the stuff back here, fuel lines. Then I'm getting the starter off. Um, got most of the wiring off that I can see. Uh, all I have left is the upper bell housing bolts. I got the lower one off. Um, and then I have motor mounts. And then we'll get the cherry picker back up in here and lift it up so I can get the motor mount bolts off. Like I said, I. From what I read online, the easiest way of getting them top ones is to take the motor mounts off, lower the engine down, get them, and then pull it out. So, because right now I don't I don't really see a way of getting back there to do it. I mean, you got a little bit over here, but I ain't fitting my hand back in there. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm close. And then we'll get all the adapters and everything onto the Cummins. And we'll get it set back down in there. And then uh, I got to get the mounts bolted up. They go on the frame instead of the factory ones. They go on the frame, like I said before. They go on the frame back there. Um, and I have to, I guess I have to cut off the old ones. Um, but I have a little plasma cutter. I'm sure I could do that with. And yeah. Uh, all right. Got the motor mount bolts out. This one I took the complete motor mount out. Got it dropped down enough I can see the top bolts. And they're these uh, inverted torques. Man, I don't think I have any that size. Um, I had a kit, but they got scrambled around and now I gotta search for them. So uh, I just wanted to come back and show you at least what I made it to. There's just two more bolts up top and it's ready to come out. Already got the transmission jack up underneath it. So once I get them two bolts out, I can be able to bring it forward enough. I should be able to, but see that motor mount might cause me an issue, but I might have to just take off the upper motor mount. That's what I did on the other one. And then I took the old bracket off. That can lift it up high enough. I can bring it out. I'm hoping I don't have to take both of them out because that would suck 
to do this one at least. That one was easy, but I'll bring you back if I can get it out. All right. Well, I was able to get this thing out. It was seized on the input shaft. I just, I mean, unbelievably hard to get out. The upper two bolts, I did find the sides for it. They were loose. I mean, just completely loose. Clutch doesn't look too bad. So now I got to take that apart, pull the bell housing out. Because I got a brand new adapter to fit on that. All right, just got done painting this. I like the way it came out. And then I'm going to change the filters, change the alternator, stuff like that. Already got the bell housing done. So overall, this thing's going to look really good. Using the fan to <laughs> dry the paint. 